Christmas dinner, Christmas dinner, no. Hello Fun Army and welcome to almost the end of the horrendous year that was 2020. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, this lockdown thing has definitely reached um, many levels of cray cray um, and I think I am very fortunate in that I have all these fun tools in my kit um, able to really kind of bring me little spots of joy during what has been yeah, a very strange time. Um, but you know, I think realistically, even that isn't always enough. And I've got to say, probably a few weeks back, I, I hit that burnout point. I really couldn't cope with anything. Um, There's a lot of sadness, a lot of tears, a lot of anger, a lot of not really knowing what day it was or what was going on. But I've then been pretty uh, fortunate to have had um, a nice space of time off to just really kind of recover. That's probably the best word I can I can put on this is recover. Like I was I was pretty broken. Um, it's been an interesting month though. So what you're going to see next is um, a compilation of um, some of the gifts that I made for my friends this Christmas. I've been hinting at it for a while, but now I can finally show you. Um, I wanted to make uh, or sort of hand make as many uh, gifts as I could this year um, and I really enjoyed it actually and I think I surprised myself with what I was capable of achieving especially you know doing felt things like I'm sure I must have done a load of felt craft when I was younger but I don't really remember it <laughs> my um, sort of hand sewing has never really been that neat I'm not a patient person <laughs> So uh, I've really kind of strengthened my practice there through the course of doing all these bits. Um, also through the course of doing all these bits, I didn't realise how long it was going to take. Oh my God. <laughs> it took a very long time. So I probably did spend, like I was using little pockets of time. So I guess, I don't know, I suppose to finish everything could have taken six, seven weeks or so because you know sometimes I couldn't even finish one thing in a day necessarily because you're not you know you're not sat there all day doing it um, I would do stuff in the morning before work I would do stuff after work um, but at some point I had to sleep <laughs> at other points I had to work so uh, yeah it was an interesting challenge and, and I enjoyed it and I think to be honest it gave me a bit of a a creative distraction from the fact I was just, you know, <laughs> that's when I really felt the burnout hit. I, oh, yeah, it was bad. Um, so, but it's it, for me having a creative project always just gives me something positive to focus on. Um, so there's going to be a lot more of that this year, but not <laughs> not projects for the sake of projects and not projects for the sake of distraction, but you know, mission 100% fun is still in full force. So I really want to make this year as fun as possible. Like we don't know what's going to happen. There's probably going to be more of this lockdown. We do, you know, I want to make sure I do the best for me this year and encourage you to do the best for you by bringing more fun into your year. So starting with, well, it's not quite the new year, but you know, by the time you see this, it will be the new year. <laughs> Starting with um, the return of the cotton candy wig, uh, I did get quite a few demands for this wig to make a return. So here it is, um, and I've accessorised it. I actually put makeup on for the first time in... I don't actually know when I last put makeup on. Numerous months. Numerous months. <laughs> so yeah, so I had a little bit of fun uh, this morning to uh, kick this off. So yeah, coming up, you will see um, a few of the projects that I've been working on. Um, if you have any questions about those or want any more info, then hit me up in the comments. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to give you a heads up then that 
my plan for 2021 is to focus in on some fun themes, um, themes that bring me joy, get me excited, get me thinking about loads of creative projects that we can be doing. So yeah, coming up in January, we are going to be focusing on uh, video games from my childhood. And when I say from my childhood, yes, I'll be focusing on my childhood. I want you to focus on your childhood. Like, what was your video gaming experience like? When did you first start playing video games? What consoles did you have? What were those games that really sort of, even now, still stick in your memory and give you that sense of like, oh, that was awesome. So uh, I'm not gonna give anything uh, away on that right now. We can talk about it uh, in the next video. Uh, but yes, lots of fun things to come. There's going to be some sewing, probably some crafting, some, um, try and figure out how to create an outfit about, of this character from whatever you just have lying around the house. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I, I'm, I'm really determined to make 2021 a year of fun um, and a year of positive mental health efforts. So I really hope that you'll join me. Uh, in the meantime, please enjoy uh, looking at the um, Christmas projects of epicness and I'll talk to you later. Bye. So here are all our little templated pieces, um, including some very, very tiny ones that uh, it's going to be hard not to lose and or um, cut round, I think. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're starting. Uh, next step is to cut everything out of felt and start to make our character. Here we are with the first little pieces done. So. This is the back of Harry's head winning and I don't will it focus. No. <laughs> Come on, autofocus. You know, there we go. So you can see I've just sewn that bottom bit on. And it's got its tiny little ears poking out. And then Oh, I'm gonna be careful with this because I'm still attached to that needle that's in the uh, pin cushion there. And so I've just attached his front hair with um added suitable quiff uh, I've just woo. come on autofocus come back to me you can do it you know you want to autofocus there we go <laughs> so I've just sewed his little mouth and again I don't think you can see it because I'm one of those people who likes to be as matchy matchy as possible so if I get to any of these and I don't have a suitably matching thread I will have to order one um because i'm like that but yeah so you, i'm not sure how well you can see the stitching here but yeah so i've just stitched that bottom row on so next up we're going to do the glasses um and then we um start with the stuffing <laughs> the stuffing <laughs> um as well as doing uh, the other body parts obviously otherwise he'd just be a head and that's like maybe interesting but also maybe slightly creepy so <laughs> i intend to give him a full body <laughs> So, on to that next.
Tomorrow, fun army. I just thought I'd do uh, a quick little uh, check in because <laughs> there's a lot of watching me make stuff and not a lot of chatting to camera, so I thought I'd come and chat to camera for a bit. Um, so things are going well. Um, let's turn this around. Here's a bit of a pro. <laughs> Can you see? Progress of how things are going. Lots of sprouts, a few Pac Man bits, a Harry Potter bit. Um, but uh, yes, I've still got quite a few bits to go. Uh, it's the first week of December, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> part of this is me being a perfectionist and part of this is me not quite realising actually how long some of them take. Like the Pac-Man ones were, were quite quick because you're just dealing with one front, one back, sewing it together. Um, I actually didn't even need to sew eyes, I did goggly eyes. Um, the others, there are lots of layers. There's stuffing, there's little detail bits, which is great fun, but I'm feeling the pressure a little bit now. And that, you know, slightly defeats the point. It's, you know, it's nice to hand make gifts for your friends. Uh, it's also supposed to be like a fun slash therapy project for me. So yeah, if it's not ticking those boxes, you've got a problem. So, uh, but actually I've started on the next one and I'm really enjoying this because with some of them, I've taken inspiration from other videos on YouTube or other ideas on YouTube. Um, with this one, I had something I wanted to achieve. I couldn't find any tutorials anywhere, so I have had to start from scratch. And I wasn't sure if I was advanced enough in my felty <laughs> um, making to be able to do this template myself, but it's coming out quite well. Let's, let's, I'm gonna show you, hang on. Ooh. So here we have, can you, can you tell who it is? It's Gaston. So I've still got to do like his, um, his belt and his strap and all of that. But obviously actually cut the <laughs> currently paper bits out of felt. So this is the back of his head. I was trying to decide if his ponytail should come around the front because sometimes that is sort of the visual you get in the in the movie. But actually I think it'd be nice to sort of have it on the back. I was trying to figure out if I could draw him like Pop Funko style. Um, but then I kind of felt actually you missed out on a lot of like the Gastoniness. Like it, it, certainly like taking it from Pop Funko to Felty. Um, you know, you needed to get the like the the prominent chin, um, you needed to really properly see the ponytail, you needed to be able to see that, you know, he's the size of a barge, <laughs> all of those kind of things. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going to work out okay. It's, I'm feeling quite pleased actually, given that I've made this up from scratch. So yeah, um, I'm going to uh, crack back on with it now. So I'll check in with you all later. Bye. Look, here we go, is the, <laughs> the final cutout bits. Part of me just wants to leave it like that. <laughs> Doesn't this look great? Um, yeah, they just won't be able to hold it um, and he's got no face, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, his ponytail is on the back, so you'll get to see that once I have actually sewed it together. Um, oh, so now I've got to sew it together. <laughs> see you in six years. <laughs> so, ta-da! Gaston's done. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm not leaving him headless. <laughs> I just thought I would show you where we are before we put the head on. Um, that, I have to say, is the bit I'm most afraid of. Because I'm like, this looks really awesome and Gaston-y. 
but I have to make sure that his head looks just as good and fits nicely and all of that kind of jazz. It's gonna be fine though, I have got this. Okay, I just needed to show you this because I've always been a pretty terrible <laughs> embroiderer. Um, mostly because I didn't really uh, have a lot of patience to kind of practice and do things neatly. Um, but you know, this is for a gift, so I'm making a lot of effort. And I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Like trying to follow, oh, hang on, the thread's still in there. Just <laughs> need to be a wee bit careful. Yeah, trying to follow, like, <laughs> I'm much better at drawing than I am at sewing. So I was like, oh, I've drawn it out perfectly. But then trying to recreate these. So this is felt, and then I have sewn that down. Uh, and then, whoops, and then the eyes are literally just uh, stitched out of thread, and then the mouth is stitched out of thread as well. So, uh, Oh, I'm feeling proud of myself for this. I hope you're feeling proud of me too. <laughs> but we're not done yet. Next up is the hair. And here he is. Na -na. If we just turn him around. Look, there's his ponytail. Na -na. I've literally spent the entire time I've been doing this, singing the Gaston song. <laughs> She's just like, gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston. It's literally been stuck in my head for days because I've been doing this. But I'm very pleased with how he turned out. Just watch, I'm going to make Belle my wife. Here we go. Can you guess what this disparate pile of body parts is going to be? <laughs> uh, I'm sure you can guess actually. This is going to be Gandalf. Um, so I'm about to start on his face first. Um, and then I think we attach the body bits. Then the beard and the hair and the moustache. Then the hat. And then he's done. <laughs> it makes it sound really quick. It's not. <laughs> See you on the other side. And now we're on to Frodo. Frodo, get down. <laughs> this is supposed to be easier than Gandalf, but it actually seems to have more bits. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> let's have a look, shall we? So here we go. Turn, turn the right way up. So here are all the bits. I've just painstakingly cut out. Um, so uh, you'll notice obviously he's missing his um, green elven cloak at the moment. I'm going to add that afterwards because uh, I'm not, I just think like, ooh, I could cut around that shape. But I, I think it's, um, once you've kind of filled it, sewed it up and filled it with the floof, then uh, it changes shape a little bit. So I want to do the cloak after that. So yeah, the idea will be that then you've got the green cloak coming out around the back little fastening um, and if I'm feeling extra energetic I might try and do the um, little ivy leaf. <laughs> Let's see! <laughs> Stay tuned! Okay so I've sewn his trousers and his feet together. I've sewn his little arms and hands together. So now what we have here is like um, his undershirt, the front part of his waistcoat and the back part of his waistcoat. So what I've got to do, sorry, nice shot of my knee, don't you love it? <laughs> so what I've got to do is basically, it's quite hard to do this one-handed, so bear with me. <laughs> la 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 la, okay, uh, one-handed stylings. I'm, this would be better if I wasn't being lazy and uh, would move my tripod around, but <laughs> it's doing something else right now. So, right, there we go. Right, that goes on there. That goes on there. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Right, that goes there. That goes here. That goes here. And this goes here. So I basically need to sew all of that down in one go now. So <laughs> the test is going to be um, getting around all of that without bits falling out, which happens quite frequently, not going to lie. <laughs> uh, and then we move on to the head and then we uh, move on to the cloak finally. So um, yeah, 
stay with me. Uh, Frodo is about 50% done. Here you go. I decided to stop being lazy and <laughs> actually show you a bit more of what I'm doing. So um, enjoy this, laugh, do, do whatever you need to do whilst you watch me try and hold all these bits together and sew them at the same time. Alrighty, so the body is all done. Woohoo! With very little trauma, actually. I'm quite surprised. <laughs> so, next stop is. <sighs> the head. <laughs> Which looks really. Um, I was about to say appetizing. That's quite a creepy way of putting that. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, compelling. I don't know. I, I lost myself in the creepiness of using the word advertising. So we're going to move on from that. Um, yeah, so this bit has the little hanging doofer for um, it becoming a little Christmas tree decoration. And then we've got the hair to go back and front. And then we attach head to body. Na -na. So on with the head. On with his head. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing felting for not well. I keep keep calling it felting, but that's felting is a different thing. Um, making felties, yeah, it's starting to go to my head. Is basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to shush now and just get on with making the head. Frodo is done. Look, I was even asked to do that little green leaf. Hello, Mr. Frodo. Hello, Sam. <laughs> that actually sounded more like Big Brother and someone in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Never mind. There you go. Let's have a. Ooh. Oh. Come on, autofocus. There we go. So, this <laughs> is backside. Auto focus. There we go. And this is his front side. Whoop whoop. So next, I think we're going to trial some gingerbread men. What's more Christmassy than gingerbread men, eh? Okay, here's our latest excitement. Ah, which I'm casting a shadow over. <laughs> Let's come closer. Come closer. It's the gingerbread man. So I haven't sewn any of this together yet. This is all just plate. Oh, hello. That's my massive hand. Um, it's all just placed. So this once I've sewn it together is going to be his scarf. Then he's got a nice little top hat. Some, um, I was going to say gumdrops. That's not what they're called. What are they called? Like jelly top buttons, some icing, and he will have some eyes. I'm just going to sew those on. Um, probably with thread. I haven't decided if he's going to have a felt mouth or not. I'll just figure that out when I get there. I think I've just broken something behind me. <laughs> oh, for the love of my art. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned and watch him come to life.
Okay, here comes Pusheen. So it's gonna be, oh, hang on. <laughs> Can you see that? There we go. So it's gonna be a little Pusheen in a gift box. Um, so at the moment I've, oh, <laughs> that's worked really well. <laughs> at the moment I've cut out um, front and back for both the Pusheen and his little gift box. Um, I need to do some uh, little paws that will come here and then I just need to figure out the right pushing markings for front and back. Um, I'll sew the eyes and the mouth uh, and then we'll have like that little tag as well so he can be hung from the tree. So stay tuned. So, I am about to start work on some Harry Potter badges. So this is the Gryffindor one I've just cut out. And it's going to have some little yellow squares and then a G for Gryffindor. Which you really can't see that well on camera, but I promise it says G. And that's going to be Hufflepuff. Ooh. That's going to be Slytherin. And this is going to be Ravenclaw. So that's all I've cut out so far. <laughs> Hang tight, there's more coming. Nana! Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching Fun Army. Hope you've enjoyed all my little makey makes. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!